Hey guys, it's me again. I thought I would record myself dyeing my hair today. I did mention that I do feel like the redness from my hair is gone from when I got married five months ago um, and I do kind of want to get it back. Um, so the hair colour that I am using today is Garnier Nutrice. It is 2.6 Dark Cherry and um, I've been dyeing my hair at home for like ages now and um, sometimes I will randomly go to like Vic to get my hair done by her because like I said in my hair straightening video I absolutely love her she's the only person who's allowed to touch my hair um, so yeah I have dyed my hair at home before um, I have dyed my hair at home with this colour before as well so I do know what I'm doing or at least I hope I know what I'm doing but yeah I think it's time to dye my hair before we go on holiday so let's get into it I don't know why I threw it so um normally what I'll grab is a mixing bowl but I really can't be bothered today I have got um, a bowl and a brush downstairs me and my mum both use it when we're dyeing our hair but because I'm not really doing my roots um, because of my psoriasis today is hair wash day so my hair is greasy so this is the color at the moment it has got like a reddish tinge to it still but it's more on the browner side and I really want to get that, that deep cherry from the box back I really want to bring that color back that right there first things first brush I have got a ball bristle brush that I use for quite a while to help stimulate hair growth and like push the natural oils that come out of your roots down to the mids and the ends of your hair but I stopped using it because my psoriasis would really get stuck in it so it did get really frustrating and then when my psoriasis went I started using it again but then obviously where I dyed my hair for the wedding my psoriasis really came back um, so I couldn't use it again and I haven't used it in quite a while um, from time to time one trick that I do like to use is if I feel like my psoriasis is really playing up or like I'm combing my hair because I've got a patch like right here at the front if I'm combing my hair and I feel like um, the flakes are kind of itching off and going onto like the hair and you can see it in the hair um, I like to get I haven't got it but you know those little nick combs that you get for like when your kids have nicks and stuff um, I like to use the nick combs and just kind of um, push it in the area where there is psoriasis and it will like you'll see it will pick off all the dry flakes that have already come off and are like crumbling in your hair and it makes life a lot easier and um, because yeah it doesn't pull out any more flakes unnecessarily it just gets rid of the flakes that are at the top so I do like doing that now because I'm not dyeing the roots of my hair what I'm going to do is I'm literally just opening the developer, dropping it apparently too. I've got three boxes here in front of me and um, I don't know if I'm going to need all three. I am seriously hoping that I don't. The way that Garnier make theirs, um, you unscrew the lid and then the lid, the way it screws on, this stops it from poking a hole so I've just got to take that off and then if I show you the inside there's nothing's coming out I'm squeezing it so I've got to poke a hole in it now so literally screw the lid back on I can feel it like ripping into that um, bit that was protecting everything so now it's open and if I give it a bit of a squeeze, that's my colour. So I chuck it straight into the developer bottle. Just doing it on the floor because 
I am, I'll show you what I'm doing. I've just rolled the bottle up so I can squeeze a bit better and make sure I'm getting everything out of it. Because I want to use two hands, I'm not holding it up to the camera. Screw the lid back on. I haven't taken this bit off, so just start shaking. Oh, okay. So I'm trying to take the top off, but we've got some developer cream coming out on us. So I'm just going to grab the gloves. It will go like a ready colour in the developer bottle. And I literally, at this point, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I am going to part my hair. Not that there's any method to me parting it right now because it's not going all over the hair. It is only going in certain bits, or on certain bits, should I say. They are parted it. Sorry, all my hair stuff normally sits there and my clip isn't there, so just two seconds, I'm gonna go get my clip. Okay, so I've got my clip. I would suggest wearing a top that you don't mind getting dirty. Yeah, you've got more of a bed coming in from this view. My phone battery is on 26%, so chuck that on charge. I'm wearing my husband's Benavita top. Um, it's a top that we're actually throwing away and we're getting rid of. It's a v-neck, so it's gonna be easier for me to lift it over my head once I have dyed my hair. Um, and I don't mind getting color on it, so make sure you're wearing a top that you don't mind getting color on. Um, I showed you guys me mixing up the color. Um, I'm doing it straight from the squeezy bottle. You can obviously mix it and put it in a mixing bowl and use a brush if that's how you wanna do it. Um, I have got three boxes here in front of me um, of hair colour and the reason why I've got three boxes is because like I said my hair doesn't seem to be thick but it is quite thick. I mean already I've just put a little bit in so far and I can already tell like I'm going to need quite a lot of this bottle. So I think what I'm going to do is try and do it strand by strand. The leggings that I'm wearing, I also don't mind these getting dirty either. There's no sort of method to what I'm doing, I am just going with it. Normally I do a whole head dye and there is a method to it and the method is the fact that I'm going from my roots to um, the tips but this is just literally mids to tip the rest don't really matter i've got the mirror behind you guys so i am looking into the mirror quite a bit um which is the reason why i'm not looking at the camera I'm most definitely going to need the second bottle. Not sure about if I'm going to need the third or not. Um, I do take it quite high up and it does go like quite close to my roots and stuff. And the reason for that is I don't remember where the blonde bits are in my hair. And So that second bottle is definitely going to come into hand. Crap. I've just built like a whole bit on my legs there. So like I said, make sure you're wearing clothes that you don't mind getting dirty. Normally, because I'm not recording, I'm not going to lie, I will dye my hair naked. Because I'm in my room. You know. Um, I have sometimes dyed my hair in just the top. This is only because I'm on camera that I'm like wearing clothes right now and doing this with clothes on. There we go. Get some out of the bottle.
I literally just screwed the lid off the bottle. The bottle is completely squished and I'm just like smacking it in my hand and taking the last bits out of it. Just making sure that I'm using every bit of colour that's actually left inside that bottle. Because I don't want to waste it. Um, there's no point in wasting it. There is quite a bit left in there actually. The other thing is, yeah, my mum's normally home, so like my mum can sort of help out with dyeing my hair. But it's just me and dad. Gerps is on night shift, so he's at work. Okay, so that bottle's gone, that bottle's done, it's finished. I find it so interesting, like, the developer cream and the colour is both white, or like a creamy colour. Yet when you shake the bottle, or mix it, it goes red. I find that so fascinating. I am easily amused, as my husband would say. I can feel my bingo rings going with this. Oh boy, I need to lose weight. I think obviously the longer it sits, the, the redder it gets. I'm just sticking my finger in there and just giving it a little roll around and see what comes out. Alright, so there's not really anything left in there either. So that's the second bottle done, which is perfect. I actually don't need the third bottle. So the third bottle is just going to go back into my drawer where I keep all my hair dyeing stuff. And what I will show you is how I get rid of all the stains. Clipping this up. Alright, first things first, yeah, I'm going to take my gloves off. And I'll show you my hands are stained red, my arms are stained red, and my feet, well, actually, my foot is stained red, really weirdly. And um, my floor is stained red. My clothes, obviously have hair dye all over them. Fine. My neck is stained red. It's all good. I'll show you what I do. Cotton pads. Isopropyl. So this is my nail prep and polish wipe, right? And it's actually just isopropyl alcohol and aqua. Literally chuck some on a cotton pad. So in that bottle, it's literally just rubbing alcohol. I mean, it's rubbing alcohol, so it's not gonna aggravate your psoriasis either. Nail varnish remover is more for the stains that <coughs> might not come off with the rubbing alcohol, because I feel like the nail varnish remover is a bit more kind of hardcore in comparison to rubbing alcohol. This stuff just stinks like vodka. I mean, I don't know how much of that came on the camera, but it's gone from both my arms. Like, okay, prime example, if you can see that, let's get close. So if you can see that redness, we're literally just rubbing and it's gone. So same with my hands, 
Just rubbing it off. And with this hand as well, just rub it off. Like, I'm not too fussed about the hands and stuff, but it is good if it comes off. Chuck some on here, on my neck. I know like loads of people will use um, Vaseline to like protect that area beforehand. I don't always have Vaseline because I do run out of it quite quickly. Um, because I use it on like, I'd end up using it on um, my lips and stuff. So this is a neat little trick. Like one time I didn't realize I'd run out of Vaseline and I needed to figure out what I could use. Um, and I didn't have rubbing alcohol because I didn't have my gel nail kit. So I ended up using nail varnish remover, which is obviously a lot more hardcore, but again, guess it done. Um, my hands are going back to being red, but obviously I'm just gonna use the rubbing alcohol to get it all off. So yeah, I'm just gonna carry on doing this. I'm sorry if it's not in shot, but I'm just trying to do it so that I can make sure it's all gone off of me. I'm just gonna stand up and have a look in the mirror, make sure it's all gone. So yeah, as far as I can see, it has gone from my face and my neck and surrounding areas. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a pair of gloves on, I'm gonna clean up um, all the stuff that is on the floor, and like, as in like the empty bottles and stuff, and then I'm gonna bring you guys to the floor and I'm gonna show you how I clean the floor, because I have got quite a lot of red marks on the floor. So I'll show you that that in a second. So I just ended up getting a whole lot of the hair dye onto like obviously my gloves and um, the cap of the nail prep and polish. So I've just cleaned that off. I'm just gonna bring you guys to the floor now. So I've just had to take you off the tripod. Now my floor's like got all these red stains. But that's cool so this is a wipe with the rubbing alcohol on it and literally i just wipe my floor and it doesn't damage my floor i don't know what floor i've got i don't know if this floor is um laminate or what i think it is a laminate floor but the rubbing alcohol I'm not using it in excessive amounts. I don't know how much of this you guys can see. But yeah, I just basically rub it as if I'm just giving the floor a quick clean. Give the end of my brush a quick clean too. Um, yeah, the, there's obviously like hair on the floor from when I brushed my hair and some hair came out. Um, so I do need to obviously hoover up in here. But yeah, now, there's like no more red marks so you can't see that I dyed my hair here it's like literally better and that's how I basically keep out of trouble with my mum because obviously if my mum came home and my mum saw my floor was red my mum would kill me like yeah I'm 25 and married but my mum would still kill me so that's my tip on how to make sure your floor's clean so your mum doesn't kill you. Obviously don't do, don't dye your hair where there's carpet. What's gonna happen now is I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for at least an hour. So during that time, I'm literally gonna chuck the telly on, put my feet up and just chill out. Um, I'm not feeling too good. I am in quite a lot of pain today. Um, so I really just wanna have a bit of an easy day. Just relax. Um, I've been out most of the day with my dad. So there was a lot of walking and stuff involved. Um, which obviously kept my mind off the pain, but since I've been home, I'm like feeling the pain a lot more now. Um, so I wanted to dye my hair. I knew it would be a good distraction and stuff. Till I get in the shower and like, till I get to actually soak under nice hot water, um, I just wanna sort of chill out and put my feet up. So I'll see you guys 